which I don't think I'm going to make it if I'm completely honest with you. I think I might run out of oxygen before I manage to get back to the pod, um, but at least we're relatively close now. So I'm not going to make it. Are we going to make it? Oh my God, I can't believe it. We were so close. We were actually that close. We were that far away. I actually can't believe that. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Crafter. So as you may have noticed, our terraformation is growing very rapidly. But before we head back, to our base and have a look at what upgrades we have unlocked it's time to explore this little crash site here that we uh, come across on the end of the last episode so first of all a tusker seed we're definitely going to be grabbing that one that is for sure that's definitely a massive boost to our oxygen and looks like we have a shanghai seed as well and we'll leave the rest of it for now because i'm assuming there's plenty to explore over in this little derelict spacecraft so where shall we start heading off um, looks like we've got oh we've got another blueprint we'll definitely take that and definitely need some food and i think we'll go for the nola seed as well i'm not too worried about them because we can get them pretty easily just looking for the rarer resources it looks like we've only got one sort of uh, way we can go so we'll go this way and let's have a look and see if we can venture into here we can't seem to get this little storage crate over here yeah yes we can okay so perfect we've got super alloys we'll take those and a uranium and another nolna seed as well looks like we're going to have to build quite a few veggie tubes that's for sure we are running out of oxygen quick pretty rapidly so let's um just head back quickly into our little pod where we'll replenish our oxygen and then we'll get straight back in there okay nice fresh set of oxygen so let's head straight back in and see what we can find so we checked out that way and we've got that way over here we've got a little cubby hole and we can go into this room over here as well okay so let's try not to waste too much time just trying to get a bearing on where everything is or just in case we need to run back and get some oxygen so let's deconstruct this get this out of the way and let's have a look here so yeah we can venture through this way we can go along there as well and what have we got here i'm not too worried about them ones at the moment it's a pretty big area i must say let's then go ahead and deconstruct this gives us a nice clear pathway back to the entrance and it looks like we can go in here as well it looks like there's a message so we'll probably have to come back and read that we've got a fair bit of fabric but at least we know there's some in here if we need it and we've got another spacesuit in here as well that's pretty cool it looks like we've got some sort of cave system over here very interesting okay we'll definitely check that out very shortly i think we need to go ahead and maybe run back and replenish our oxygen then we can kind of explore this a little bit more as well let's just double check and see what we have in here yeah i might have to uh, create a storage crate as well and possibly come back and we should have time to read this actually okay so today was the inauguration of the, the space warp gate it took two years to build and was finally allow us to easily cross the initial prime sector but as soon as we turned on the main power reactor everything went wrong the power immediately went down all the reactors and stabilizers broke within a few minutes and the spaceship was inexplicably drawn to the closest planet we have tried everything to fix it but it seems there's nothing we can do but the crew managed to escape so that's good and it looks like we need to run and get ourselves some oxygen and i'm afraid we are going to pretty much pass out here because i've kind of lost where i'm going but yeah we're not going to make it well it's a good job we fell pretty short so we can just go ahead and grab our stuff from here pretty cool okay so let's go and replenish our oxygen and we'll get back in there and explore a little bit more so there is a couple more items in here that we could possibly do with getting but we can always come back for this so not too much of an issue so here we are again looks like we've got another blueprint microchip here i suppose we could drink a water bottle and we can take that definitely want to try and head back to base now let's finish on reading this so I'm going to my pod now too. What a waste. All these months of work we lost. I don't understand what happened. Interesting. What year was that? 3034. It looks like here we have a fusion reactor as well. But I'm not really sure how these work at the moment. But that's definitely good. I know we did unlock a pin microchip that we can add to our exoskeleton. So probably want to go ahead and pin where that reactor is. 
there's definitely something worth doing. Okay, so let's head back to base. We can chuck some of this in our storage, get some more oxygen on the go and see what these blueprints hold. I'm currently making my way back to base and we've got a little, just sort of a halfway point here just to gather some oxygen. But I have noticed this cool looking formation over here with the rocks and the cliffs. I definitely want to be checking out this as well. Definitely want to go and see what kind of hidden things are in there because it definitely looks a bit ominous to be to be honest so i bet you it's got something in there oh looks like we just got another blueprint and a spheric water collector so probably have to have a look at getting that all built when we get back to our base so here we are back at base okay so let's have a look and see what we've unlocked so we've unlocked the advanced craft station i think we unlocked that in the last episode so i definitely want to get that built and um, we've got the mic chip the tier one blueprint for pinning i thought it allows you to pin things on a map but it's just for pinning recipes i'm not too worried about that at the moment we have a launch platform i definitely like to get that built see what that's all about it allows you to send rockets in space which increases the terraformation process by quite a lot and the atmospheric water collector as well i want to get that built and what else the grass spreader as well we have also the flower pot but i'm not too worried about the flower pot at the moment but definitely the grass spreader definitely would like to do that as well let's have a look and see what we need so for the advanced craft and station we should have the resources for that so i think that should be our first portal call so we need some aluminium titanium magnesium and silicon i think before we do that we should clear out some of our inventories let's go ahead and see what these blueprint microchips are. so we've got a recycling machine interesting that looks a very interesting indeed i wonder where that is located exactly and what that does i'm guessing it's not in any of these options over here let's see what the other one does um mapping okay that's pretty cool we've got a mapping screen as well let's go ahead and maybe craft this one so we need a compass microchip and some silicon and some iron as well okay so let's see what we needed for the compass microchip so some silicon and magnesium but it does take aluminium as well um, i definitely think it's worth doing though let's just have a look and see what state of play is for aluminium we've got quite a bit of aluminium actually so I might as well grab them let's head on up first of all let's sort our seeds out i think will be the better idea so let's see what we have over here so we've got 200 here 300 200 or 150 so let's change out this one here and we'll drink a water bottle just so we've got room i think what we'll do is we'll put the seed in that one and then it looks like we have a 200 and a 150 over here as well so what have we got over here 150 it's 300 and a 150 so we'll swap that out and i think we'll swap one of these 200 percent for the 300 percent and we should be pretty max on that auction so let's go ahead and dump these in so that out of our inventory now which is pretty good and let's go on and see where we were so we should have grown them now so that's good we can eat some food um, so that's 25 and that's 60 so yeah the beans are definitely better i thought they were i just thought i'd try the eggplants as well so it looks like we also have rain which is pretty cool so we've achieved the blue skies and we've achieved rain as well so we need to go ahead and get some silicon and magnesium so i'll just grab some magnesium from here and also some silicon and we can craft our compass go and then we can get our screen map in we need some more silicon that one is titanium but this one here is silicon so that's pretty cool and we can have screen mapping so we're gonna go ahead and pop this somewhere i'm not exactly sure where we're putting it at the moment and needs to go on some sort of desk i suppose we could just place it on here for now that seems pretty cool oh yes we've got a super alloys here in the, this chest okay so let's have a look at this then no satellite or wind send a map of it into space to receive a signal oh okay so it looks like we will have to build this launch platform which actually we do have the resources for so let's have a look at this recycling machine actually to break the items down into their core components okay so that's pretty handy as well let's see what else we were looking at so we were looking at the grass spreader so we need another water bottle we need a lerma seed and magnesium we can do that pretty easily i think we better get some grass on the go that would be pretty cool actually uh, what else do we need so magnesium and lerma seeds i think we're only going to need one but i'm not too sure we'll start with one and we'll see what happens 
with that one so let's go ahead and put a grass spreader outside so it gives a radius so yeah we are going to need quite a few of these um, but i think we should have just put it over here for now we should have a nice little green area i think outside our base i think that'll be a pretty good idea let's see where we can kind of fit it and see if we can be cheeky and fit it just here under the stairs that will be pretty cool okay so now we've got some grass going down our options should be going up pretty quickly to be honest and we have got a couple of messages to read but yeah our auction is definitely flying up now so that's pretty good let's see what else was there so we wanted the atmospheric water collector which definitely will save us some time with picking up ice to convert into water so super alloy silicon magnesium and cobalt so super alloy magnesium silicon and cobalt so we're going to grab some silicon over here some cobalt from over here and we should be good to go with the atmospheric water collector okay so question is where are we going to put this a great big thing here possibly not there looks a little bit stupid um, i think just here should be pretty fine actually so that's pretty cool i'm not sure how we can collect it production time 156 so open the water collector okay yep pretty simple to use nice okay so let's see oh we have some grass growing over here potentially it is definitely trying so advanced crafting station then let's get that built and see what other stuff it allows us to craft oh i did want to build the biodome actually because that is a perfect place to grow plants and generate o2 so three super alloys for that one. I think we should definitely go for that. Considering we have got the super alloys. And we don't need any for the advanced crafting station. So that's pretty good. So two titanium and two cobalt. So two titanium. Two cobalt over here. And I think it was one silicon as well. Uh, aluminium. Aluminium and then a llama seed. So that's pretty cool. So I did stock up on some resources between episodes. So we are going through it pretty quickly though. So definitely have to spend a bit of time and go and get some more. So a biodome. So let's see where it's at. So it does attach to the building then. So that's pretty cool. So where do we kind of want this biodome then? It would be nice uh, to be honest. But we can't have it. Can we have it over this way maybe? Nope. Okay. I would like it actually attached to our building. Would be pretty cool. So we can link it to there. I think that should be pretty good. We are low on power again so we are going to need some more solar panels let's just have a look at and see what energy we actually need so consumption is 100 so yeah maybe a nuclear reactor and we can't do another nuclear reactor so i think we're just gonna have to go for a tier 2 solar panel so magnesium silicon and aluminium and then some cobalt so magnesium silicon aluminium and cobalt so aluminum and we're gonna need two cobalt as well so that's pretty good and then we have a biodome over here which is a little bit annoying i kind of want to move that up on the upper level i want to have a play around and see what we can do about that but first of all we're going to get our solar panel up and running so at least we have power back on and let's see if we can put it over here yeah we should be able to squeeze it in just a that's cool so let's go ahead and jump up here we're going to deconstruct this and we're going to see if we can place it in a little bit of a better position i kind of want it just a, that is perfect actually because that should be pretty parallel with yes that is perfect okay so how does this sort of work then show interface oh okay so we've got a lot more unlocks over here then plants and insects with bi biolab so this basically unlocks a lot more of the uh, blueprints that we can unlock so that's pretty pretty cool I'm not sure how it works i think it just works in the background and just gathers because it looks like plants and biomass are going up so that is pretty good we don't have to connect anything or put anything in these tubes which is pretty cool okay so next is the advanced craft station and then i think we're pretty good with all the unlocks apart from we do need some super alloys for our launch platform might have been a good idea to do that first but nonetheless that we can um, come back for that that's not too much of an issue so we need three aluminium titanium 
magnesium and silicon. Let's head on back down and we'll grab the resources for that and see what else we can build with our tier, with our advanced crafting station. So we are going to need some silicon, better drink a water bottle I suppose. And then it was magnesium and titanium. So there we are, we have everything for advanced crafting station. So what I'm probably going to do is pop it over into here I think. Advanced crafting station can go pretty much here in the middle, so that's pretty good. And then what we can do is deconstruct that and we can place it back. And if I remember what one it was, I think it was the terraformation one. We can put that there. So let's have a look and see what we can craft at the advanced craft station. So we've got a tier four backpack. Definitely some super alloys. So definitely some more exploring that needs doing. Same as the oxygen tank. We can craft the super alloys though, which is pretty cool. Rocket engines, tier one jetpack that allows you to fly in the air and increase displacement speed. Very interesting. We do have quite a bit of this iridium and uranium to be honest. So we might be able to possibly make a couple of those, but I don't think we're quite there yet. Definitely could do with a tier four backpack and possibly the tier four auction tank as well. But yeah, I think that's something for me to kind of do in between episodes. But I think we are pretty good. Let's have a look and see what we can kind of increase. Our auction's going up pretty quickly, so I'm pretty happy with that. We possibly could get some more of the veggie tubes down. But let's have a look and see what else we have. So heat is probably something we do want to try and increase as well as the pressure. I think the pressure is something I want to work towards. I want the ore extractor, which we are very close to unlocking actually, to be honest with you. So I think possibly if we have enough resources, we could probably get another tier three drill down possibly. Let's see how much energy we actually have left because that's something we are struggling on. So yeah, we're probably going to have to do another solar panel before we can go ahead and craft another tier three drill. Okay, so I've got one more tier two solar panel down. That's gave us a little bit of extra energy. We've got 23 available, which means we should be able to place down another tier three drill. I can't, am running out of aluminium though, so that's about all of the tier three drills we can place down but it will increase our pressure by 17 a second so i'm pretty happy with that so we'll get this down we'll get out of the way and that should increase our pressure quite a bit our grass is slowly getting there so that's looking pretty nice um, so let's have a look at now at our pressure it's increasing a little bit quicker not massively but a little bit but we are very near the ore extractor and i guarantee i'm going to need some aluminium for that but let's go ahead and grab ourselves some food if we can. Uh, we're at 79% and we're at 80. So, okay, we've got an eggplant. We've got some space food, so that's pretty good. Let's just drop the rest of this stuff in our chests. And then I think we'll come up with a plan for our next expedition, which I think there is a cave just over here. I saw it on the way back here now uh, we might venture in there and have a look in there and then we'll go and explore this over here. Let's just see what we need for the ore extractor. So osmium. Okay, so I haven't seen osmium yet. So it looks like that might be something in that cave. And we'll have to go and see. So I want to clear out my inventory and then we'll go for a little bit of exploration. So our inventory is clear. So we're going to venture off into the night. We're going to check out this cave and then we're going to have a look at this strange sort of wall formation. And we're going to see what that lot entails over there. Okay, so here we are at the cave entrance. I'm pretty sure we might have actually checked this cave out, but I can't actually remember. But first of all, we're going to put our pod down. So we've got a bit of oxygen. We're just going to let that replenish a little bit and we'll head back in here. So let's have a quick browse. We have got some sort of craft over there that we could check out as well i'm pretty sure we've been in this cave i can't actually remember i'm pretty sure we did it does look familiar but aluminium we are definitely taking some of that okay so at least i know there's aluminium in this cave which is relatively close by also some iridium we have got plenty of iridium to be honest so yeah at least i know there's aluminium in this cave now maybe we haven't explored this cave then i don't actually remember but we have got plenty of iridium so i'm not too worried about that as i said we are going to get some some aluminium let's have a look see how we get up onto the top up here see what we have maybe we're lucky enough to find a golden another golden crate in here somewhere could be a possibility we know they are hidden around in places so we might be able to find one 
Well, we got over here some more iridium. Yeah, we don't really need the iridium. We've got plenty of it. And there is a crate over here, which is pretty cool. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Oh, a super alloy and another blueprint microtrip. We'll definitely take that uranium. Might as well eat that food as well. I'll grab this aluminium. Okay, so it looks like we are running a little bit low on oxygen. We might have to nip back and do a little pit stop. And then we'll come back in here because there is a little bit more that I want to explore in here. I'll definitely want to explore up there and see what there is. But let's head back before we run out of oxygen and we'll come back and finish the rest of this cave off. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be much up here apart from this area here, which seems to be blocked off, which is starts melting at 100 nk whatever that um, i'm not sure how far away that is but i think this cave is pretty much done um, but we have collected quite a bit of aluminium which i'm very happy about and we've also know we've got plenty of iridium in here as well if we need it so we can make plenty of the iridium rods so that's for sure did we check this out before i think we did oh we didn't okay perfect we'll definitely take that lot okay so i think i need to make a quick pit stop back at base and we'll check out these blueprints and then i think we'll come back and check out that weird looking structure over here to see what that's all about hopefully we don't get lost inside there it definitely looks quite big and it looks like some sort of maze but there does look like there's a bridge at the top which i'm definitely excited to go and check out and then we have got that structure or this aircraft over here as well that we could possibly check out at some point okay so we're back and i've checked chucked all the aluminium into storage so let's have a look and see what these two microchips give us some tier 2 torch oh that might be very handy definitely have to look and see what it takes to craft that and we have an area lamp very interesting what's an area lamp then what's the difference so a lamp that can be placed anywhere interesting okay so where we've got an outdoor lamp here that can be placed sort of inside or wherever we feel like i have noticed we have got locker storage as well so definitely might need to upgrade from these chests into these lockers that might be something to definitely work towards let's have a look at the tier 2 torch so sulfur okay we haven't come across any sulfur yet so i'm guessing we won't be using that for a while um, and let's just grab another water bottle so we make sure we're all stocked up and let's head on back and um, see what their weird structure is all about so here we are at this structure and i have just noticed this sort of bridge here so i think we've got a little trail to try and follow got to try and work out how we get up there it's the very big question i'm guessing we start from this rock so i think what the best thing to do is we're going to place down our little base building so we have a supply of oxygen and what i'm also going to do as well is i'm going to place a locker storage in here just so we have somewhere to dump all of our items we find if we do find any and then i can always in between episodes just run it so we've got food we've got water so let's go ahead and see what this structure is all about i'm guessing this might be the way a little bit of a traverse up here it doesn't look like it is very interesting i wonder if we have to go down in there first let's have a look in this direction and see what there is there is a crate here which is where i found found that uranium so i wonder if we have to kind of follow this little path see where it leads us definitely amazing here that's for sure we've got another storage crate over here might have some goodies in so let's have a look at that just make sure there's no golden crates hidden around anywhere there's another bridge up there as well oh we have super alloy and uranium i'm not really too worried about the iridium and that at the moment we definitely do need some more uranium though for our nuclear reactors so it looks like this is going to be a little bit more complicated than i first thought to try and find the best way to go to be able to get up on top so it looks like we have a platform here that we can possibly climb i'm not sure there's much up here nope there isn't much here okay so let's just run back and grab some oxygen quickly or we'll try and find another path up there doesn't look like it's very high off the ground we might be able to get to it around the other side okay let's have a look let's try and get onto the roof of uh, this broken down craft that we've already explored see what's around here might be able to get to it from around this way no i don't think we are going to be able to actually puzzling maybe we need the jetpack maybe that's what we need maybe we do need the jetpack let's carry on walking around we'll see what else we can find around here for now if not we'll head back and possibly check out this structure over here i can't remember if we have checked this one out or not okay so i have just found a structure over here so interesting okay yeah we're definitely trying to find a way out but we are running a bit low on oxygen 
but now I know whereabouts it is we can come back we'll see if we can figure our way up there if we can't then we'll have to wait until we've got the jetpack it looks like I might have to do some crafting to get that but I think there's definitely something to work towards so we're going to try and head back back without dying which i don't think i'm going to make it if i'm completely honest with you i think i might run out of oxygen before i manage to get back to the pod um, but at least we're relatively close now so I'm not going to make it are we going to make it oh my god i can't believe it we were so close we were actually that close we were that far away i actually can't believe that but anyway let's stock up on water and our food and we'll head back We'll head back and see if we can find a way up there. Now we've actually found the structure. We might be able to find a way up there. There's got to be some golden crates hidden around here somewhere. This place is an absolute massive maze. It really is. Okay, so we can kind of see a platform over here. I'm not sure we'll actually be able to get up there. Oh, I wonder if we can jump that gap. I wonder if we can actually jump that gap. We might be able to, you know. Let's have a look and see what we can do. Yeah, we can jump that. If Oh, alloy. We'll definitely be grabbing hold of that. That's for sure. Okay, so let's definitely go ahead and see what's in here. Should have bought ourselves some oxygen capsules, but not to worry too much. We should be able to make our way through here see what we have so we have pestera seed i'm not too worried about those for the moment but we'll be taking those we'll have to do a quick scout of this because our auction is definitely running low and i've got a feeling we're going to run out of auction we have got some more bean seeds i'll definitely take those i'm pretty sure we're just going to run out of auction but i can always come back and grab the stuff that's one thing i do kind of like about this game although it is a very difficult in the survival aspect we do just keep coming back to life, which is kind of interesting. Oh, mushroom seeds. Definitely take them. Definitely take that uranium. And we're definitely going to be need our auctions levels low, which I know about anyway. And we are just going to die, but it's okay because I'm going to come back here. We're going to finish looting all of this stuff because it looks like there's some pretty decent stuff in here. I might have to clear out some of this iron. Okay, so that's it. We just found one more extra microchip, which is pretty cool. And we have just found some more super alloys up here. So I think we just need to pretty much hurry up back um, there is plenty of super alloys up here though at the top which is definitely something to bear in mind but i think we just need to kind of head back now hopefully we can manage to make it out alive or we'll just grab all the super alloys before we get back there so i need to get down before my auction level completely depletes and we're kind of stuck up here because that's what i don't want at all so let's go ahead and Hopefully we survived that fall. We did, so that's perfect. Okay, so let's just run back this way. And then hopefully we'll just have to come back and grab our items again. Okay, so we've made it back and we've got all of our resources. So looks like we've had a pretty successful haul. If I'm honest, we've got some nice blueprint microchips and we've got plenty of the super alloys as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off all of this aluminium. I should have actually just put that in the storage, shouldn't I really? Let's pick this up. Let's put the aluminium in the storage and also the fabric. I'm going to keep the mushroom seeds because I'm going to plant them to give us some more food because I'm guessing the mushrooms are going to be better than the beans. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uranium and I'm going to try and take the super alloys as well as we are going to need those. We can probably drink on some food that makes some room and we just need one more space for our super alloys depends what are we going to sacrifice probably the water bottle i think the water bottle will be fine without the water bottle so i think what we'll do is we'll head back and i'm probably going to end up upgrading the backpack and also the oxygen with the super alloys that we've got i think that's probably going to be good and then we can also always come back here and grab some more super alloys off the top as we know there are plenty of super alloys up there okay so we are back at our main base now what i want to do is i want to basically swap these out so let's open this and let's put the mushrooms in see how long they take so 0.6 which is the same growth speed so i think we should just let them grow i assume the mushrooms will be better so we'll just put them both full of mushrooms and we have got another nolna seed in here so let's go ahead and see what one we can swap out from here someone's 400 that one's 200 and that one's 200 so we can probably swap that one out 
for 300%, which is pretty good. And then we can just bungle these seeds back in there. We've also got some food, so that's pretty good. Now, next, what I want to do is let's see what these blueprint microchips are. And then we've got a couple of messages as well that we should look at. So we've got one from Riley and one from a convict. So another prisoner by the looks of it, so that's pretty cool. But let's first of all decode these blueprint microchips. Let's have a look at those. Shredder machine, interesting. Let's see what this shredder machine is all about then. Um, where would it be located? Here. So destroys items placed inside. So completely destroys items then. So we probably won't need to worry about that for this moment in time. So a big living compartment. Now that's ideal. That will save a lot of building that will. And to be fair, it does take quite a few resources to be honest with you. But, but that seems like a pretty good idea. We could possibly make a bit of a storage system with that would certainly make it a lot bigger so we could convert some of these into a big living compartment that might be ideal but let's um read these and then we were going to upgrade our backpack and our oxygen tank and then i'll probably go ahead and go and grab a whole load of super alloys and then we can possibly sort out a bit of a storage system we can get rid of all of these we can make a couple of big living compartments one here and one there trade these lot out and then we can and then go forward and we could convert our storage crates into lockers. I think that'll probably be the better way to go. So let's go ahead and see what message we have from Riley. So I managed to obtain more information. I read that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why yet. Well, that's very interesting you to say that because there is a reason why I built where I decided to build. But I'll explain that once we finish reading. And if you manage to heat the planet up enough, some caves should become accessible when the ice melts. And one last thing, you can. End of communication. The message was intercepted. Interesting. Okay. To whoever, so let's see what convict G8971Y says. To whoever receives this message, I'm a planet crafter sent to the Mygoria 3 planet. If you've received this, it means you are near. Maybe you are a planet crafter as well. We certainly are. The weather is atrocious and I'm running out of resources. There's not enough in this barren world to terraform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can send help, please do. I would send help, but there's no options to actually reply to messages. Oh, we have another message from blank. Interesting, let's read this one while we're here. So today was the inauguration of the spacewalk gate. It took years to build. Oh, that's the message that we read at the space gate. So we know what that one says. So while we've got this super alloy, um, let's go ahead and upgrade our auction tank and our backpack as well. Um, I believe we did already unlock them. So auction two tank. Um, let's see what we have. So we know we have tier three. Oh, yes, that's right. I remember now it was in the advanced craft station. So let's go ahead and craft a tier four auction tank and the tier 4 backpack so we just need some titanium and some cobalt so let's go ahead and grab our titanium and some cobalt as well um silicon there titanium there so perfect okay let's go ahead and upgrade those and tier 4 backpack as well and then we also oh we could do a rocket engine and we could make a jetpack we do need two iridium rods which i'm not sure if we'll have enough um, let's just check our miscellaneous i've got nothing in there what have we got here no i haven't got any of those i've only got uranium rods so that's kind of out of the question but we have a tier 4 oxygen tank now which is gone from 280 to 370 so that's massive and let's and our backpack space as well is pretty big so that is pretty good so let's see if there's anything else so we've got tier 2 agility boots let's see mining speed tier 3 have we already got mining speed tier? no we've only got tier 2 mining speed so that might be worth getting as we can afford it um, our hydration level is a little bit low so we could do with uh, making some water but i don't think of what oh we have got some ice might as well craft a few water while we're here so there we go get our hydration up there we go and we might as well eat some food as well while we're here so let's go ahead and get the tier 3 mining speed could probably do with the tier 2 torch but we haven't got any sulfur yet so we'll miss that one for the meantime tier 2 exoskeleton so yeah we just need some silicon and some aluminium we should have plenty of those for now um, so let's go ahead and grab some we do need some more silicon but we can sort that out and tier 3 
perfect. So now we have tier three mining speed. So mainly mining time reductions minus 30 percent which is pretty good so let's go ahead and i'm just going to drop off this slot in here and we're going to go and fill our backpack up with some super alloys i'm also going to stock up on some iron as well so we can create a few of these storage lockers because they take three iron each but don't worry you don't have to watch the boring process of all of that because on the counter three you will see i'm all done so one two Three. okay so i've been out on a little adventure gathering some of the resources that i mentioned so we've got a whole load of super alloys and i made a couple of other trips as well but you might notice something a little different about our home base so yeah i took some time to rearrange things so we've got an even nicer storage area over here so we've got basically two lockers at resource so we've got iron magnesium and so forth and we can go all the way around like this so as well as some super alloys i did stock up on a whole load of iron to do this but i've also stocked up on some iridium as well so we can turn them into rods for our jetpack so this is the new sort of command room i want to call it but a nice advanced crafter just here the advanced craft station a nice little setup here now these little effigies let's just say they are a questionable design but they are definitely supposed to be a rocket nothing more than a rocket but as it's raining is a perfect opportunity to basically explain why i decided to build up here like the message suggested so if we head on over here to the cliffside we will see this little dip over here all the resources is slowly but surely creating puddles now i kind of preempted with the whole terraforming thing that this would probably be submerged in water just given by the rocks and things like that so i kind of preempted the situation they decided to build up here so i've also put the water collector on a little platform as well that reminds me we should collect these water bottles i know i've been using the ice i was just trying to i basically just forgot that this actually existed and i built it but anyway let's go ahead now and craft the backpack so we can kind of or the jetpack shall i say so we can kind of do a bit more exploring so we have got quite a lot of everything so we need two of the iridium rods so we need 18 iridium to start with so we should have plenty of this because i did as you can see do a lot of gathering so so that'll be one and then let's just go ahead and take another two and then one two three so that should be good we should be able to create our two rods and then what else did we actually need so we need four uranium and two super alloys and then some titanium so let's go ahead and grab everything so we don't have to worry about going back and forwards uh probably going to have to anyway i mean we could drink some water i suppose but we are going to have to come back anyway so we might as well just get these rods crafted keep forgetting to press control so we don't have to back out of the menu now all i need is two super alloys and one titanium as well let's go ahead and grab this titanium there we go we should be able to get a tier one jetpack now which is pretty good so we're gonna craft all two of those and then we're going to get the jetpack as well so allows you to find the air and increase displacement speed so that's pretty good not sure how to use it but we'll figure that one out so we've got the tier 4 oxygen tank and backpack so that's pretty good there's nothing really unlocked over here we've got tier 3 mining speed anyway i'm pretty sure we've got the tier 2 agility boots we have okay so let's see where we are in the terraformation so we did hit liquid water and we're three percent through that and it's a very slow increase now and we're working towards lakes so we are going to need to upgrade these a little bit so our oxygen is a little bit slow by the looks of it so we're definitely going to, need to upgrade that a little bit and i also want to basically increase the heat as well can't remember what the number was for that little ice bit in that little cave so i might go and check that out and we'll work towards that as well so yeah i think we should do that let's go and check out that little cave we'll try out our jetpack as well and we'll just double check the number that we're looking for so yeah that's kind of what i thought we just press space and it flies us forward which i like that's pretty good definitely quick and running i think it's quick and running yeah it's definitely quick and running so that's pretty cool and we just yeah move around to up and down and that's pretty simple cool i like that 
I like how the mechanics of the jetpack. That's pretty cool. Nice and simple to use. And I do like the fact that we looks like we've got an amount of fuel as well, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see when this sort of ice in this cave melts, because I can't remember. Pretty sure it's something in K, but I'm not entirely sure. It might have already actually melted. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, okay. We must have already opened that one. Yeah, it looks like it is actually melting. It has melted. Okay. So it looks like we have another place to explore over here. So let's see what we have over here. Looks like we've got our normal resources. So that's pretty handy to know. We've got some more close by. I'm not really sure what else is here. We've got cobalt, magnesium, sulfur. We do need sulfur. Okay, perfect. Might as well grab some sulfur while we're here. And then I think we'll head back. And we'll probably explore this area a bit more a bit later on. And there's a few more upgrades I want to do in regards to the base to speed up our terraformation. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some sulfur. I should also probably grab some iron as well while I'm here because we are running a little bit low on iron because I kind of used it all. So might as well grab some iron while we're here. What's this aluminium? Okay, so we've got aluminium here as well. So that's pretty handy to know. We've got some sulfur. We do need to start heading back. We are getting a bit low on our oxygen. So it's pretty handy that I know where to get some sulfur now. So that's pretty good. So yeah, I think we should just head back. Our auction's getting a bit low. But we have enough sulfur for now anyway. Oh, okay. I think I've gone the wrong direction somewhere. And hopefully we can find some oxygen in here. A bioplastic nugget. Interesting. Better take that. And I think we're going to run out of oxygen. But that is pretty cool. Okay. We are possibly going to end up hitting our demise around about here i'm gonna try and make it back as far as i can um i can't actually remember where i'm going i kind of i think it was a little cave entrance over here so let's kind of head back in this direction and i'll have to come back and grab my resources oh yeah we died and dropped some on inventory okay i'm gonna head back and then head back here and we'll see how we do okay so here we are we are back so there's a couple of things that i want to basically build to speed up some terraformation so i do want to do another tier one nuclear reactor i might even do two of them just to you know last us for power for quite a while maybe i'll just do one um that gives us 86 energy and what's yeah consumption and production so we're looking pretty even so i think possibly one or two because i also want to do the tier three heaters i'll probably only do one i might even do two actually i think i've got enough for two iridium rods i think we should get the nuclear power reactors done at first um just because i know for a fact i have got two uranium rods so i think we'll use those what was it three super alloys so how many super alloys have we got and um, we haven't got too many to be honest so how many will that leave us if we do six if we do six how many will we have left quite a few we should be able to because i want to do the launch platform as well i definitely want to get that done that takes 55 energy so yeah i definitely think we're going to need two of these i also want to try and find some osmium for the ore extractors so that's definitely going to take some exploration but i think to start with we should get to two of these nuclear reactors done so we can pop them on the roof and i think that will be a good idea so we'll just head up here and i think we'll do two more of these nuclear reactors and that should give us a plenty of power to start with so let's just check our power consumption now that should pass over for quite a while so yeah we've got 173 that is you know pretty perfect so we need two silicons yeah are we going to i want to also get some veggie tubes down or maybe some grass spreaders make it look a bit nicer outside but let's have a look at the tier three heaters so we go ahead and go to our iridium so we need 18 so yeah we've got plenty so that is 18 yeah we should be fine we should be able to go for that so we'll do two of those and then we need two silicon two titanium and two aluminium i know we've got all of that i'm running a bit low on silicon actually i've got no more silicon left and lastly we just need aluminium so i don't think i've actually got any aluminium i have just put 
them in the wrong one but that's not too much of an issue okay so here we are in our little little heater room i'm probably going to have to expand that quite a bit to be honest with you so there's our two heaters so we're looking good there so let's just go and double check now how we're doing so heat oh yeah heat's ramping up pretty quickly so that's nice so bio how was it again we got biomass oh yeah that was the biodome it did also unlock the bio lab but we need osmium for that as well so we definitely need to just basically find some osmium so yeah i think we need some grass spreaders to generate some more biomass so let's see how many of the lerma seeds we've got and let's see what we can do so we've got one i know we've got some more in here as well so we have got five all together so we're going to need five magnesium and five aluminium let's see what we have over here so aluminium wise oh we've got a tier five backpack and one two three four five aluminium and what else did i say the backpack completely threw me off then but five magnesium so let's have a look at the magnesium yeah we've got five of those so that's pretty good and then we need 10 bottles of water as well so how much ice have we actually got and we've got a fair bit of ice but we should have some more water collected in our water collector so we're going to go ahead and check that yeah we have fit okay so let's go ahead and get another grass spreader down and um, we kind of want it around this area i think would be quite nice one potentially over here and then i think we need another one down this area i would like to actually place them underneath as well i think that would be pretty good so let's go out and collect some more water now we will need to drink some at some point too so let's go ahead and do another grass spreader get another one done under here i think and then if we can pop another one over here we should make this area nice and green so pretty happy with that we've got one spare so we can drink out of that and we also need some more of these so i did find some squash as well so i've put that in so let's see what that is like the mushrooms to be honest weren't very successful if you only got 25 or 35 so so far the beans have been the best at 60 health and the squash at 40 so the squash isn't too bad so we just need more beans more than anything so we'll eat both of those i'm still not sure what this bioplastic nugget is either and i've also just realized we've actually got a blueprint mic trip so let's go ahead and see what that holds and we'll pop those in for now in fact let's organize this a little bit more so let's go ahead and have a look at this blueprint micro trip and we will put our iron back in there might as well have a little tidy up while we're here clear our inventory a bit the aluminium needs to go in this one otherwise i'll get very confused and that looks pretty so that looks pretty good from there so let's have a look at what this blueprint is and then we'll see what we need for the tier 5 backpack oh we got tier 1 gps satellite oh okay now that sounds a very interesting indeed not sure how we craft that i'm guessing in here or we can actually do the tier 5 backpack straight away super alloys and titanium I, I just think we should just go for that absolutely go for that that means we definitely need so three super alloys and we are going to need some more at some point we can craft them but it does take a lot of resources so let's grab our titanium and now we can have a tier five backpack so let's just how many slots have we got for the tier four so we got 28 slots so let's see how many we get for the tier five backpack oh yeah that is pretty good so we've got 35 slots now absolutely plenty okay so let's have a look and see what else we can actually set up set up as i said i'm very tempted to do a launch platform in fact yeah i think we should just go for it let's go for the launch platform get that started and we'll see that what that unlocks um, but i do want to find out where this was because i'm a little confused i can't seem to see it let's see would it be in here by any chance i can't seem to see it anywhere in blueprint pinning we know about that i am very confused where well if anyone knows i would much appreciate the help definitely not in here either got tier one backpack and um, we have gps but no messages no satellite in orbit send our mapping rocket into space to receive a signal what was that again oh yeah mapping so i am actually genuinely confused as to where this satellite is unless it's something we can launch from the rocket 
tell you what, let's just go. Let's go for the launch pad. So we need three iron, three titanium, and three super alloys. And we are going to need to stock up again, but I can do that in between episodes. And there we go. So let's go ahead and let's just double check we've got enough power actually. Um, 82, that's fine. We should be good, fine, but we should be all right. The real question is, where are we going to put this? What I imagine is going to be a monstrosity yeah that's pretty big okay so where exactly are we going to put this do you know what i think about here would be pretty good way up over here on this mountain seems like a pretty cool idea in fact let's go up here a bit i reckon we can fit it up here it will look pretty cool up here i reckon if we can fit it up here it will look pretty cool so apparently we can't put it in that area but we can put it up here somewhere. But let's see if we can rotate it round a little bit. So the stairs are kind of not looking very odd. But let's see. We can put it up here. This might be pretty cool. But let's rotate it round a little bit. This might look a lot better actually. We kind of pop it about there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It kind of looks like it's kind of buried and not quite supposed to be there. But I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know actually. I don't like it i changed my mind so i think we should try and do it so it kind of fits all kind of square and as one um trying really really trying to decide where to put it okay so i eventually decided on somewhere to put it i found a nice space all the way up here but guess what else i found up here so you know sort of i think it was the first episode when we were exploring and there was uh, this cave here which is blocked off by ice but well, now the ice is melted and guess what i found oh yeah i found osmium so at least i know it's pretty close by and i don't have to travel far so we might as well grab some osmium while we're here um start smelting at 100 nk which we have achieved and what's this in here sulfur so we've got sulfur here as well as osmium so that's pretty cool i know that's relatively close which is absolutely perfect and that starts melting at 5 uk so i guess this goes a lot deeper but at least we found a couple of bits of osmium in here um, so that should get us started i can't remember exactly what we needed the osmium for now uh, we have got four oh yes it was the bio lab so we can get that built now which allows us to craft the bio recipes which would be interesting but more importantly the ore extractor so we can do one ore extractor and we can also do the bio lab as well which is pretty cool i don't think there's any more osmium over here so yeah that will do for now but now we have this a wonderful looking machine up here so let's head on up here and see what we need so we have an asteroid attraction rocket which gives a global heat generation bonus by a thousand wow we have a magnetic field protection rocket which attracts iridium asteroids gives a global generation bonus um so pressure and then we also have the tier one gps satellite so it provides geolocation to the mapping screen so i think we definitely want to do that we have got a microchip a compass microchip so we could do a rocket engine and some super alloys as well so i think we should definitely launch one of those into space so let's head on our back and see what we so do the bio lab i might hold off on that for a little bit i need to figure out how much iridium we've got how many do we need how many rods do we need for the rocket engine just one rod so we need nine iridium two uranium um so we'll grab the two uranium and we'll grab the nine of those and we could drop off this sulfur and we can also drop off the osmium for now we won't be needing those for a minute and what else do we need for the rocket engine we needed some super alloy and we also needed some more super alloys for the ship so craft the rocket engine and i can't remember my memory is absolutely terrible i definitely need to do some more brain training to increase this memory but we're gonna head on up here oh so that was kind of interesting and we can do it okay let's craft it apparently we can't craft it okay maybe i need to craft a separate microchip for the compass then let's head on and craft one of them because i don't want to use the one that i currently have on our exoskeleton 
definitely don't want to be doing that. Uh, we could drink some more water. Um, probably need some more food. Let's see how our food's doing. But yeah, we've got plenty of food over here. So that's good. Um, let's just eat the squash for now. So let's have a look at this microchip compass. So sili silicon, magnesium, aluminium. So we need silicon, which we haven't got any of. That's a little bit awkward. And we've got magnesium and we needed to aluminium as well. We are definitely running low on aluminium. So let's go ahead and just quickly grab some silicon. And we'll grab a few bits of silicon if we can find any quickly. But as you can see, this I think is going to be one big lake, that's for sure. And let's see if there's any more silicon close by that we can quickly grab. It doesn't seem to be. I can sort that out in between episodes. That's not too much of an issue. But let's go ahead and get this rocket ship sent into space. And potentially we'll do one of the other ones as well. Maybe the heat one so we can explore a bit further down into that cave. That sounds like a pretty good idea to me. So let's go ahead and craft one of those. And we'll head back up to the launch pad. We also need to double check what we need for the other rocket as well. I think it's definitely going to be worth doing for the heat one. That's for sure. So let's go ahead and build that. Oh, it's already built. There it is. Our beautiful rocket. So on account of three, we are launching into space. So three, two, one, we have lift off. Oh yeah, look at it go. Well, I wonder how long it's going to take to uh, do what we need to do. I guess we'll go ahead and check. So we need a rocket engine, which is going to take some more. So super alloys and cobalt. So I definitely think we should do this. It will also give us some uranium asteroids as well, which were pretty good. So we need cobalt and super alloys and then a rocket engine as well so hopefully we have another nine iridium i'm not sure if we actually do let's just double check one two three four five six seven eight now that's a little bit awkward that we only have eight that's a little bit disappointing so looks like i'm gonna have to go on a little trip to get some iridium and we also need some uranium as well so yes i'm going to take a little trip and i'm going to go and get some iridium okay so we now have our rocket engine our super alloys and our cobalt but before we disappear let's check out our mapping system now this is pretty cool okay so we've got tier one satellite all the way up to tier four so yeah basically it just uh, shows us where everything is in this vicinity which is pretty cool so it looks like we need to we need to upgrade quite a bit so i'm guessing that there is aluminium um can we move a little bit easier than this oh we can okay so looks like we've got a great big sandstorm over here that we can't go to not sure what's over in this direction apart from a whole load of massive caves uh, that's the arch the gateway i think it was and over here doesn't look like it's been uncovered yet so yeah, it looks like we've got quite a lot to explore. I definitely think it's going to be worth checking out over here though. Looks like we've got plenty of aluminium over there. That I'm guessing possibly uranium. We've got another crash site over here. So yeah, we've got a fair bit to explore over in this direction. We haven't actually been over in this direction too much. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's multiply our heat by a thousand percent and just see uh, see what happens basically. Hopefully we can uncover this sort of area. So we need to kind of travel over there. So we need to go up that way and turn right maybe. But I think that might be good for another episode. We can do that. Let's go ahead and launch this one into space. Oh yes. So let's go. Wow, well, that one's definitely gone up. Let's head on down so we can check our our heat and see. Yeah, just see how much it's actually multiplied. We might end up cooking ourselves alive here. Who knows? Oh, okay. I missed something then. I don't, oh, yeah, we've got a massive uranium meteor shower. And yeah, I think I don't want to be outside for that. I definitely don't want to be outside for that. Oh, yeah. Our heat is absolutely rocketing. Not as quick as I would like it, considering it's supposed to be a thousand percent but it is definitely definitely quicker so let's go ahead let's have a look and see if we can find where some of these meteors actually land uh we've got one landing up there one's landed just here let's go and have a look oh yeah we've got plenty of uranium from this oh, this is pretty cool okay so at least we know that's a decent way of getting a fair few resources definitely very quickly we have a cool looking meteor sh meteor shower there look at that 
I think that's definitely time. That is definitely a thumbnail there if I've ever seen one. So if anyone didn't know, you can press F2 to hide your HUD, which is pretty cool. And then I think we'll go for a nice little thumbnail opportunity that, that looks pretty good to me. Uh, we better get back before we run out of oxygen. I think that's going to be a very wise decision okay so there we go we are back so let's have a look at some next steps then so at least we've got the launch platform built and we sent a couple of rockets into space that is pretty cool and now we just need we haven't got any messages so we're all caught up on the messages and we are eight percent through our heat is definitely still climbing pretty rapidly we definitely need to work on our oxygen i think though because our oxygen is looking pretty dim just there so we're definitely going to need some more teratubes yeah so heat is going pretty rapidly we've unlocked the sign so algae a generator okay so it generates biomass which is pretty good we definitely need that and that place on a water surface i think we're pretty yeah we're a little way off that one at the moment um, let's see what we have down here so all oh, tier 2 nuclear reactor so that will be pretty good tier 5 pack pack lake water collector collects and filters water from water surfaces that'll be pretty good at some point oh this boosts the performance of nearby machines that's pretty cool as well tier 4 heater unlocks at 63 so yeah i think we should just go ahead and i think go ahead and sort out our oxygen i think as well we want to go ahead and do our bio lab as well but you know what i think we will leave that for the next episode i think we've achieved quite a lot in this one and i think it's a good time to leave it there if you need to catch up on any other episodes i'll leave a playlist on screen now but otherwise if you enjoyed this video and join the series make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe for more it's been kryptonite here thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video